Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I have made changes to my ridiculous Starship Super Heavy replica such as it is in the hopes that we can do the next part of the challenge which is to land it on the moon. And in order to do that I decided to replace the swivels on first stage whiff vectors which you might have seen on the previous video caused problems for us because the joint here tended to wobble all over the place. I've tried putting struts there uh, but that has not helped in particular but we will limit the gimbling on the vectors. So previously we had swivels here. We still have the reliance on the outside. But we had swivels here. And they don't provide enough thrust to fully fuel the super heavy though. And in order to get the starship to the moon without actually refueling it. And I don't like to do refuelings if I can help it. Uh, we want the super heavy to be fully fueled. And in order to do that we have the vectors which have more thrust and we put them in the gimbling slots, but we had to reduce the gimbling so it doesn't wobble all over the place. And we'll also control from the bottom core, the one on the Super Heavy initially, I've got that action grouped. I didn't want to reroute everything, uh, but we've got action groups now, and so we've got control from here on the bottom core on one, and we're controlling from this, uh, the Starship con uh, core on number two. I don't know why everything is a zero, but uh, it, it's there. And we also action group the engines. So, yeah, we've got a lot of action groups now. And we'll probably end up with more and probably run out of action groups. But, uh, yeah, uh, we haven't changed the engine setup on the Starship. We also haven't fully fueled the Starship, but we do have extra fuel compared to when I did the launch attempt for orbit. Um, other things, I've reduced the size of the chines a little bit. And that's because I don't think they're going to help as much. And... Trying to think if I changed anything else. I don't think so. So that's it. It's mainly the vectors. That's the main thing. And putting the extra fuel in. So let's take it out to the launch pad and see how it goes. I have not tried this to orbit yet. I did some testing uh, to test out the joint. And otherwise I have not brought it to orbit or definitely not sent it to the moon. Oh well... One problem is it tends to sort of want to tip over on the pad, and I don't have a really good place to put the launch clamps in particular, so it is just sitting on the engines. But it looks like we can time warp here, but we're gonna, we are going to lose power, so I might have to roll back if we don't... Yeah, we didn't get to daylight in time. But we'll roll back. I want to launch in daylight, of course. Okay, before anything bad happens... Oh, it's already started for some reason. Okay. Now, we don't want to go full thrust here at all. Speed is not our friend in this case, and I'm gonna press 1 to control from the lower core, hopefully. But it's already wobbly. Oh, we've lost our fit. You know, let's let's revert. I don't want to lose the fitness. Uh, too much force. Too much force. We don't want it to throttle up all the way initially. I could just thrust limit the vectors in the VAB ahead of time, but I haven't done that. I've limited the gimbling, but not the thrust. So we're going to go with 70% um, thrust right now. I'm going to press 1 right away to control from the bottom. And... Again... Okay, okay. Uh, it's still... Oh, we still lost the fins, though. Mm, it's still wobbling a lot. <sighs> okay, it does change which core we're controlling from. But, no, no. Let's roll back to the VAB. Try and start from there. Maybe I should just add launch clamps. But there is a problem where I, I don't have a place to put them. You can't attach them to the fairings. And putting them inside and like clamping to the fuel tanks is probably a bad idea. Probably. So I'll be going right through. We could tweak them out, I guess. Like so. Well. Okay. One to control from the bottom. And throw down. And ignition. And launch. Very gently now. <laughs> still wobbling. Ah, oh, the fins still fall off. 
I mean, I don't blame the game for having the fins fall off. They're sort of tweaked out to the edge of the fairings. I have launched this like this without them falling off. Maybe if I throw down even more. They lasted longer this time. Maybe a lower throttle? Let's try a lower throttle. Let's try like a Saturn V launch kind of thing. Oh, uh, maybe a little bit more than 55. <laughs> it's not going up. It's not going up. Okay. Uh, just barely accelerating is what I want here. Wastes a lot of fuel, but we do have a lot of fuel. So... If that's what it takes to keep everything intact... The gimbal on the vectors is limited to 50%. I also removed the control surfaces from the chines. I think we should be able to accelerate more now. It looks stable. <laughs> it looks stable. I'll throw down a little bit and start to try and turn though. The swivels are a bit easier to deal with. They're very tame. The vectors are super powerful and wiggly. Oh, we lost the fins! Okay, well, see, I can't go that fast, apparently. We'll proceed, though. Challenge didn't say we had to carry the fins. In fact, the version that lands on the moon isn't even supposed to have fins. Maybe it's for the best then. I'll reserve a little bit less than 10% of our fuel in the Super Heavy for its... Uh, its return. Oh, I'm fighting against the up thing, that's why. It's funny it went this far with me trying to tell it to hold up. Um, it's a judgment call right now. I'll reserve that much. And we have to switch vessel and control from two. Uh, okay. We're still underfueled here. Considering how it's wobbling already on top of super heavy. Didn't think we wanted more for now. Certainly the vectors down below can handle more. The Skippers here, and those are our vacuum engines, do not gimbal. I've locked the gimbal on them. So it is just the swivels at the center of that gimbal. We'll be relying on the reaction wheel quite a lot. We obviously don't have the landing engines that the Lunar Starship would have. I could put thuds on for that. I would think that that would be the best fit. So I'll consider that later. It might prove necessary, as we might fail right now, <laughs> so uh, I'll, uh, I'll think about that. I might just remove the fins for the Lunar Starship. I haven't added any RCS, we should, probably should have RCS. But I'm doing everything iteratively, as they say. Okay, we'll coast. Ooh, I cut it while it was gimbling. The reaction wheel, as you can see, is not super powerful in this situation. It is a separate reaction wheel. There's the control core. The control core doesn't have a reaction wheel. The big control core doesn't, so... Or at least, unless they've changed that. So remember, it was necessary to have the fairing be shorter than the length of the engines here, because otherwise the thrust would be obstructed, it turned out. So that's what I've done there. After making orbit, we should have a little bit more than 2,000 meters per second according to that in order to get to the moon and land on it, which should be enough, but we'll see. It might be tight. Certainly if we were landing in a particular location, it would be tight. Okay, we've made orbit with the 2,155 meters per second left. I don't care whether it's a lopsided orb or not, we're leaving it pretty soon anyway. Uh, for efficiency's sake, I suppose we should just have the vacuum engines, so I'll turn off the swivels for now. 
Well, it doesn't know when I've turned off the swivels. It doesn't adjust the burn time. Let's see, swivels on, swivels off. I didn't put any way to regenerate our power though. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, let's just take that for now. Okay. Let's go over there. If we need to run the engines to regenerate power, I could do that and bring our periapsis closer at the same time. It doesn't seem like it's using power though. It only used power on the pad. Which is weird. Okay, we are in Mooner SOI. So we'll do a radial in in order to bring the periapsis in a bit. Mm. 15 kilometers should be clear, but a nice low pass. Okay, we have captured. And we have a nice really tight orbit, 17 by 15. Time warp is not gonna be pleasant to us, but we're actually getting into the daylight side. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, let's land in this nice flat bit. I think that would be best. I'll activate the swivels, though it's opposite the side of Kerbin, though. <laughs> we wouldn't be in communication. It's not strictly how it's gonna be. Definitely not. I'm gonna go with horizon view, I think. Okay. Uh, let's activate the swivels as well. Let's try for that for now. Oh, where am I? Hurried me inside the thing. Okay. I'm gonna try and take some control, even though that's probably bad. On the bright side, it didn't say I had to land vertically. They also didn't say it had to land fully intact, you know. You always have to work to the requirements here. They didn't say anything like that. We have too much thrust. Maybe I should just land with the swivels. Feels better that way. Oh, a little bit of sideways. Okay. Can you hold it? It's toppling! <laughs> I need landing legs. It's toppling. It's toppling. Well, they said land. It didn't say lift off again, right? Um, up. Can you go up? I think the reaction wheel is powerful enough. Now, the Duna one, we have to land it on Duna and then return. But this is just landing on the moon. So we've landed on the moon. We have one reaction wheel, it's just the largest reaction wheel. And we just barely made it, which is how I like it. I don't like to have extra margin. So we've done it, folks. <laughs> we've we've done it, uh, apparently. I, I wonder how it's maintaining this particular pose, but there you have it. We have landed the starship on the moon. And next, the next level is Jeblo will fly a starship replica to orbit and land it propulsively at one of the KSC's four landing pads. We may have to make adjustments. Um, we'll need to try and figure out how to keep that extra fin on. But I will tackle that next. Well, I mean, it might not be the next video. I might have some other thing that I want to do, but uh, I'll ponder that as far as the next development of this system. So with this uh, tenuous pose here, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.